in today's video, I am going to show you a e-attendance management system for the offices and schools for your employees. Right now, I am currently logged in as an employee. So I have tried to check on check-in. So it will give me the error. This device has already been used by an other employee today. So when we go to our Google Sheet, we will see, yes, already marked one attendance. It means the other person marked the attendance from this device. So now this device cannot able to give access to mark the attendance to other device. This is a security feature. So uh, let's take example. I will uh, give you the example. There are two friends in a company, in your school organization, and one friend mark their attendance, and the second one request to mark their attendance by login to their account so the system cannot accept the requested attendance from one device one employee for example i am a employee okay i can only able to mark my attendance from my device no one other can mark their attendance from my device okay so everything i will show you step by step without wasting your time okay so i will just delete this because no data is available here means nothing check in today right now okay so this is this application have two user roles the admin and the employee so both features are the same i will show you the both but the admin i will log in first okay i just enter the admin login credentials and click on this login and when i click on this login as of now you will able to see here i will be successfully uh, come to my dashboard this is a admin panel so admin panel have the extra one feature to manage edit or delete the login credentials for their employees remaining all the same in admin and the user panel okay so you can see this all the uh, user information this all the user information which is currently login let's take example you are employee so your employee information will come here okay and when you click on this check-in it will say please wait we are processing and checking you in in our system records okay so you can see check-in successful now the check-in is successful let's take example i am logged out from the system right now okay i am logged out from the system and i will come back in the evening when the office time is completed and i i just enter my admin details here means the employee whatever the login details you will uh, enter here you are an employee or you are an admin it's not matter so you can see it's login in right now it says you already have checked in it not says again for checking only one time check-in you can do for one day and one checkout you can do in a day okay now the time is the office time is out and you need to check out okay how you can check out you need to tell us what you have the day, whole day progress what you have done okay let's take example i have a meeting attend with one i will uh, enter the details and click on this add more activities if you do the more activities instead of the meeting you can select here the training delivered okay the training delivered okay that's fine okay now you can simply click on this checkout so when you click on this checkout as of now you can able to see here it uh, it is in the please wait status so it means it will working to log in your data in our database or in our Google Sheet. Okay, now the checkout successful. It says you attendance completed. Now you can only mark the attendance tomorrow. Okay, now in the attendance section, when we will go, you can see the checkout time and the check-in time and the latitude and longitude locations and the you can also see the IP address. So you can identify uh, that from one device cannot able to mark the more than two attendances. Let's take example. This is a, a, a device. I already have marked the attendance. Okay. Now I just log out from here. Okay. When I log out, I just go to the login section and copy this employee username and password. I just come here, paste it here and click on this login. So when I click on this login, as of now, it will log into my account and first it will check uh, the uh, first it will check the condition if i am already checked in or not if not then it will show you show me the check-in first otherwise it will show me the checkout like i previously show you i just simply click on this for a uh, check-in it will in the processing state now the condition is working it will check 
that already uh, using this device id using this device mark the attendance or not so it found already one of the employee mark the attendance from this particular device okay now you can mark the attendance from another device i just log out you can see here's no admin panel option in the employee mode only history so what is in the history i will show you from the admin panel because in the admin we have one uh, data one credentials already have so in the history it will show so you can also uh, check out how it will work i just go to the history section so when i go to the history section as of now you can able to see here the filter by period you can see the check in the code of this particular day a check in time of this particular date you can also filter two day you can also filter the seven days you can also filter the all time or this month okay now back to the attendance go to the admin panel so when i go to the admin panel here's the user management means your employee management okay let's take example i am searching this employee five so i just copy this particular uh, employee id from here username and paste it here now it's filtered I, it's working fine that's okay now our roles admin okay now employ everything is working fine all provinces you can also filter them okay all cities okay okay in filters you can also see this is a dependent drop down okay in this particular province which cities comes it automatically comes here not is the like seen you can see all the cities are different here so province and city is dependent drop down okay designation system administrator all designations and if you want to update the data you can also update from here and click on this update user so now your user will be updated and in the database as well okay so you in this kind of way you can do so you can see we have successfully updated the data and if you want to add a new user you can simply add a new user here okay so this is a e attendance management system a secure attendance management system for your organization or for your schools or for your offices so nobody can um, able to mark their friend attendance if they are not available in the uh, offices because this system have many security functionalities the ip address checking for the employee uh, availability for the employee tracking and also the latitude and longitude locations as well so this is for educational purposes okay hope you will utilize this in a professional way in your personal learning so be thank you very much in the comment you can add the project ideas so we can working on that particular ideas and give you the possible good solutions so we thank you very much take care we will meet you in our next video take care